Welcome to the 2019 Melbourne to Blegara Yacht Race, which is part of the Ocean Racing Club's Winter Series. Ah, oh, look, it looks fantastic. The weather for the weekend is just looking absolutely gorgeous. So those spinnakers are going to be out, and there's going to be lots of jibing, lots of tactics, and lots of fun. So let's just go and have a quick look at the weather. I've put this cross on the weather map here to show you what is a very, very unusual situation for us in winter. Uh, normally the highs should be sitting up at New South Wales, Sydney, and you just look at that centre of that high is almost level with Hobart. So have a look as we play through that and look on Sunday, see that the high has moved slightly off to New Zealand and then if we look on Sunday morning you can see the high has wandered back so the high is doing a lot of wandering back and if we look at Monday you can see all of a sudden the high has gone up and so this is quite an unusual weather pattern for us and you can see on Sunday that looking at that this little patch of cloud is what's going to come through in the afternoon and give a bit of rain but if the lady skippers uh, finish by three or four o'clock you should be clear of that sort of rain and as you can see the ASA bars are spacing out as we go on Sunday so we're not anticipating a huge amount of wind and if we look on Saturday there's a little bit more of this and as you can see this getting closer the ISA bars will narrow up and that's why we're getting a bit more wind. If we go and have a look at the uh, 500 millibar line, um, if we go and have a look on Friday, we can see this big U-shaped thing here is what is causing this high to move back and forth. And if you look over the time, it changes the jet streams we're looking at, which is drive the weather systems and you can see the effect starting to go away. So that's what's causing the blocking high. And now we'll just have a quick look and I'll just turn off my, uh, my little cross here. And uh, you can see here, this is Friday today, beautiful day today. We go and look at Saturday and we look around seven o'clock in the morning, we can still see that we're in a northeasterly wind and coming more to 10 o'clock, still a bit northeasterly. And if we go to one o'clock, you can see the wind starting to clock uh, to the north. And we go a bit later and we can see down where we should be down here at that time, we're in quite good 10 to 15 knots, so we should be going quite well. The interesting thing for sailors to have a look at is this little effect here. You just want to watch out tacticians. It could be boiled lollies in there. So anyway, if we have a look on Sunday um, and we go to 10 o'clock with the ladies are saying, you see there's just a touch more, 50 to 20 knots. And if we go along lunchtime, it goes northerly. And as we go along during the day, it starts to reduce and reduce. So it'll be a little bit hard in the morning, but uh, because it's fairly moderate overnight, there's not going to be big waves. So it should all be good. All right, a quick look at the predict wind model. Um, here you can see the model. Um, interestingly to see is the models have split evenly. So this model here is going uh, onto the shore and this model is coming offshore. So um, it's going to be interesting. But just what I showed you on Metai, you'll need to watch that because that might cause this to be a problem. So we'll just play that model quickly so you can see the two boats, the ones that are jibing off to uh, offshore and the ones that are going inshore. So there you have it, um, and that's what it's going to be. So um, it'll be really interesting. It's going to be downwind across the finish line here. Not a lot of room to jibe in and out, so it's going to be tactically quite tricky. And navigators, you really want to keep on your metal in here. Lots of sandbanks and lots of other things to hit here, so you just want to make sure that uh, you've got your navigation 100%. All right, in closing, um, I'll do a little video uh, separately for the ladies the lady skippers race and i'll just do a little one on that just in a moment but just the main thing just to look at um got a nice top of 18 degrees going to be really nice a bit of chance of early morning fog mostly sunny day and so it's going to be no rain and so it's going to be great all right hope to see you out on the start line firing your flares and look forward to seeing you tomorrow thanks very much